Journey to Self. These works were inspired by a pilgrimage I took with my husband on the Camino de Santiago across the northern Spain. It was a victory to be able to walk to the end of the block after chemo in 2006 and a second recurrence of cancer in 2016. I don't know what possessed me to think I could walk 500 miles. My spirit, my body, my mind felt called to walk this path. The Camino was the most excitingly painful, joyfully challenging time of my life. Two months of getting up each morning to walk. The only plans were to walk, eat, and take in the beauty of Spain. An opportunity to step away from technology and truly talk to people from all over the world. We often didn't speak the same language, yet we were still able to communicate. I discovered I could relax, take in the culture, art, music, community, and mostly tradition. Sometimes I hurt, but I healed. The Camino is a metaphor for my life. It holds space and perspective to work through emotions in a new way. It nudged me to let go of burdens, one step at a time, and practice living in each and every moment. What a powerful opportunity to explore who I want to be. I came home wanting to manifest my transformation through art. Initially, I was attracted to the idea of using small, torn, painted papers to illustrate snapshots of my life. Using multimedia to push boundaries provided another opportunity to look in previously unmined places. There are multiple symbols to be discovered in these works. The birds speak of resilience in nature, the freedom to fly, the necessity to look at the sky and know the basic needs are being met. I love the idea of sailors using the stars to navigate to their home port. The notion of layering stories to explore inner constellations, combining the walking process with freedom of flight and self-care. Layers of images developed by dripping, scraping, gluing, and slapping down color, pulling me deeper and deeper. It was like waking up to the sweetest dreams of my life, conversations with family, street scenes from travel, and maybe a remembered melody. I want to entice you to look beyond these blocks of color into the windows of the world. Ultimately, I want to encourage you to open your arms wide and enjoy whatever tethers you to this earth. Now, I pray for nothing more than the value of living each day fully, drinking the wild air, journeying to faraway places to take in their majestic beauty, working in my studio with playful dedication to making everything and nothing, spending time with my love while learning to giggle more. I am a beginner playing at my own game of life. Camino by David White The way forward, the way between things, the way already walked before you, the past disappearing and reappearing even as the ground gave way beneath you, the grief apparent only in the moment of forgetting, then the river, the mountain, the lifting song of the skylark inviting you over the rain-filled pass when your legs had given up, and after it would be dusk and the half-lit villages in evening light, other people's homes glimpsed through lighted windows, and inside other people's lives, your own home, you had left crowding your memory as you looked to see a child playing or a mother moving from one side of a room to another, your eyes wet with the keen, cold wind of Navarre. But your loss brought you here to walk under one name and one name only and to find the guise under which all loss can live. Remember, You were given that name every day along the way. Remember, you were greeted as such and treated as such, and you needed no other name. Other people seemed to know you even before you gave up being a shadow on the road and came into the light, even before you sat down, broke bread, and drank wine, wiped the wind tears from your eyes, pilgrim, they called you. Pilgrim, they called you again and again. Pilgrim.